Let me tell you something. God will allow you to get in a place regardless of how, how you are. You will get to the place you will cry. Amen. And when you cry, He will hear your cry. Amen. Amen. Peter cried. What happened? God reached His hand down and caught him. Now we find Jonah in the belly of a whale for three days and now he cried. And guess what happened? When he cries, God reached out his hand. Yes. You would think, man, he went all the way to Tarshish. He's somewhere in the ocean in the belly of a whale. Who knows where he's at by now? Yeah. And when he cried, the Lord was right there. And the Lord nudged that old whale, said he's had enough. Take him over to the bank. Cough him up. That's what happened. He coughed him up. He came rolling out, end over end, per perhaps. I don't know how it happened, but he coughed him up. When he coughed him up, you would think after being in the belly of a whale about three days, you probably had a fish mail to you or a sea lion or something. I don't, I don't know. At the Bible, I, you would think when he coughed him up, he would have went back home, cleaned up, got on his best suit, had his tie press, and went to Nineveh. The Bible says he left right there and went to Nineveh. Right. I want to tell you, he had a life changing experience. Right. He realized that God was right beside me all the time and he was waiting for me to say I will. He was waiting for me to obey whatever he had me do. And I tell you, there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people in the same shoes Jonah was in. They run from God. Altar time, they slip out of the church. At all the time, they try to wipe tears out of their eyes. They don't want nobody to see where they are. At all the time, when God begins to move and God begins to come to your pew and, 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 and you're sitting there with your hands in your pocket spiritually when God is saying, I, I can help you. I, I can help you through those health issues. I can help you through the family problems. I can help you from being lost. I can help you through everything because God is it, never too far away. Amen. <laughs> never. John hit the ground running, went to Nineveh, preached, and God, God repented. And then he got mad. This morning we have a couple of young men that we're going to be baptizing in Jesus' name. To me, the Bible says, someone asked me the other day, I was riding with them, they said, Brother Allison, do you believe you have to be baptized to make it? I said, let me read to you what the Bible says, and then you make up your own mind. Mark, the 15th chapter, and verse 15. He said unto them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth, talking about the gospel, and is baptized shall be saved. That's the words of Jesus right. himself. Right. In Acts, the 22nd chapter, it, Paul begins to tell his conversion, how he came to the Lord. It happened in Acts, the 9th chapter. You will find that when he begins to tell Ananias, he told these people there was a man named Ananias, and Lord, the Lord struck me uh, struck me blind and told me to go to a street called Straight. See Ananias, and the Lord spoke to Ananias on the other end. You know what the Lord was doing? He was reaching. He was reaching to where Saul was. Saul was parading around, hauling the Christians to jail and putting them in prison and everything else and thought he was doing the right thing. And when the Lord reached for him, he had to shake him up a little bit. He knocked him off that, I, I guess he was on a horse. I don't know if he was or not. I, I've heard that before. He was on a high horse, but whatever he was on, he knocked him off, blinded him. They led him to Ananias. And in, in, in this chapter, this is, this is uh, the 22nd chapter of the book of Acts. Ananias is talking to him about, about salvation and talking to him about the things of the Lord. And now, now the Apostle Paul was well educated in religion. And this is what 
he told him. This in Acts the twenty second chapter, verse sixteen. Well, we just start at verse one, verse twelve. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me and and stood and said, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And he's retelling the story. And the same hour I looked up on him, and he said, The God of our fathers has chosen thee that should have noticed thee his will and see that the just one should us hear the voice of his mouth for thou shalt be a witness unto all men what thou hast seen and heard verse 16 and now why tarest thou other words just said what are you waiting on arise and be baptized and wash away your sins calling on the name of the Lord which is Jesus morning we're going to baptize these young men in the name of Jesus for the removal of their sins. And this morning regardless of how far down you've been I talked to one young man and asked him some questions about his life. I've seen it happen so many times I could almost tell you and I did tell you exactly how you got to where you were. He said, that's right, Brother Allison. That's exactly what happened. He said, you got hurt when you was young. That's exactly what happened. And I was hurt. And I was mad. And I turned these things that turned on me and caused me to be addicted to stuff. And I, I, I thought this morning, man, this is going to help you. Because regardless of how far down you Regardless of how you messed your life up, God is never very far.